Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Cha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. And shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in his word being taught unto them. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled Fear Not Thou Worm Jacob. You know, it's just a quick little in transit lesson. And you know, I always, uh, you know, majority of the videos I do on the goal, man. You know, that's just always been my spirit. You know, I've always liked to just travel, you know. And, uh, you know, I spend a lot of the time in the car by myself. So it allows me to kind of express myself how I want to, you know, not hindered. You know, there's people in my household that are not necessarily of the faith. So, you know. You know, I don't really want to be quenching that spirit, which is why I tend to do a lot of my lessons on the go, man. But I say all of that to say this, man, because basically I've got a new gig now. You know, I've got a new job. And um, it's a lot closer to home than my previous one. So, um, you know, I get to work a lot faster. You know, before, you know, I could be having a journey of 45 minutes an hour some days um, but now it's significantly reduced man like I was kind of just driving and setting up for this video and I'm realizing that I'm literally almost at my you know my new place of work but anyways man so let's jump into it so the title of this lesson is fear not thy worm Jacob all right you know as we, sh we know, or as we should know, we're heading into a time of uh, major demonization. You know, the prophets are being demonized. They want to get us off the street corners. You know, they're trying to uh, put that fear on us, man. So that, you know, in hopes that we will just kind of back down. And um, in hopes that we would just kind of like back down and, 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 and you know say oh you know what man the pressure is getting too much like you know they they, they want to arrest us potentially want to kill us you know so we just need to shut the fuck up but no man instead we're, we're doubling down man we're doubling down okay we're letting these devils know that we don't fear them you know and and we we fear yahweh uh, not man okay so we're, we're going to continue to preach and to prophesy until the Heavenly Father, you know, until the famine of the word is, is brought in and, and, and there's no place for us to be preaching and prophesying, man. That's when all is said and done, you know, Ezekiel 3 and 26 says, and I will cause thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth. All right? That's when we're going to stop preaching and not when Esau, not, not when Esau Edom is throwing uh, uh, um, threats at us, man. You know, trying to, trying to instill all kind of fear in us. You know, that, that ain't going to work, man. All right? In this truth, the only thing we should fear is Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai. Nothing else, man. All right? So, um, let's hold Joshua 1 and 9. And it reads, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and have a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy power is with thee Whithersoever thou goest Alright, so the Heavenly Father Is with us where, wherever we go Alright And you know what, let's double down on that Alright, because uh, He's with us how? You know, through Yahweh Shai Alright Because Yahweh Shai is, uh, is our mediator You know, because the Heavenly Father Can only behold pureness And we ain't pure Right now, you know, we're in this wicked flesh, so Yahweh Shai maketh intercession for us. You know, he's pretty much fighting our case up in the heavens. All right, so this is Matthew chapter 28, um, straight to the point, and verse 20 teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. 
And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world, Amun. All right, so the heavenly uh, Yahweh Shai, well, you know, we can say the heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai is with us always, man. Even until the end of the world. All right, so when we're out there preaching on the highways and the byways, Yahweh Shai is there, man. What does the scripture say? Where two or three, uh, what is it? where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am also. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. So Yahweh Shai is with us, man. So even if you know we 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 at the camp, and you know one day we just get the the, the, the feds, you know they 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 just you know decide to to lock brothers up. That's okay, man. All right, that's okay. Blessed are ye. Uh, are ye when uh, uh, you know uh, uh, um, when men shall uh, persecute you or speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake, for great is your reward in the kingdom of heaven. That's me roughly paraphrasing Matthew chapter five. All right, it says great is your reward in the kingdom of heaven, man. So we ain't just out here suffering for no reason. We we have a, a, a cause. There's a reason. All right, and the world is um, you know they they're getting ready to. To know of that reason Alright When Yahweh Shai comes back Okay Then they're gonna know That a prophet had been among them And, and we weren't just some Crazy guys with, with 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 dresses on As they like to say uh, Just just screaming scriptures man You know Just screaming prophecies You know They're gonna know that That really they're, they're, There's always been a method to the madness Alright we, we ain't just doing this for no reason Okay and there's another preset that came to mind And I kind of, I kept speaking And now I forgot man, so like here You know But Yahweh Shai is with us always man Okay So we ain't, we ain't got a reason to fear Alright, let this devil come down with great wrath man Because we know and understand This is the only way this kingdom is going to be done away with anyway man You know He saw, he's pretty He, he playing games man What's this guy do? Of course it's a f <laughs> Oh man See these women man This can't fucking drive Here it is You just decided to pull out Your own stupid decision That's your old guy But still man like, What's wrong with you? But the scriptures commanded us to fear not man See, and you know this this like you know I just went into a pothole like you see this this world just and you know I was turning the corner I didn't even realize it was there and then boof see like look we ain't gonna have you know um we ain't gonna have the streets in 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 uh the kingdom man made out of of of, of uh tarmac concrete you know, you read Tobit 13 and 16 It says how the streets of, the, of Jerusalem are paved with, with gold, man And all, uh, pres all kind of precious metals You know, you don't have that here In uh, uh, Esau, Edom's uh, uh, kingdom, man You know, that's why, what does it say in Micah 2 and 10? Micah 2 and 10 says this uh, It says, arise ye and, and depart For this is not our rest Alright, this wicked kingdom is not our rest, man this is, you know, we was brought here for punishment. You know, we, uh, you know, uh, we really we're in captivity. Let's see what's going on here, man. Look at this woman. You see this woman can't. <laughs> figure, oh my God, what am I gonna do? My husband's bought me this big car. I just can't maneuver it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. You know, come man. Alright, the scriptures say we are yet this day Fuck it now, mate We are yet this day in our captivity Alright, oh my gosh Man And what's that? That's in, that's in uh, Baruch 3 and 8, man We are yet this day in our captivity Okay So we ain't free, man We're, st we're still slaves, man you know, the, the, the way to know that you have an enslaved mindset is you think you're free, you know, 
you don't think there's anything wrong with, with, with society today you know you, you're just pretty much happy with how things are you know that that goes to show you that you you you, you you've been enslaved within your mind man and you're you're just you're just lost confused okay that's why when they come offering you those things that they offer onto idols and you're gonna give consent onto it and then you're gonna die you know roughly paraphrasing the end of second Ezra 16 okay but us brothers man doing this work you know the scriptures say that I, I made thee stand bold as a lion you know and then wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 says how you know uh, we, we're standing boldly you know in the face of those who made no account of our labors man okay no account um, of our labors so you know there's going to be a get back Daniel 7 and 18 you know says how the, the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom man okay wisdom of Solomon 3 says how the most high hath care for his elect the most high just ain't going to leave you to just suffer and die man alright yeah there's going to be um you know, there's going to be Israelites that will be um, deleted for your Howard Shai's sake, you know, for the name's sake. That's true. But, you know, that's that's written in prophecy. And that's that's how they're going to glorify the name of your Howard Shai. You see? But they're going to... Uh, meet with the elect in the air you know what let's bring that out man you know the scriptures say wherefore comfort one another with these words man because you know like it's getting real out here man we see you know canada passing all kind of bills to to, to demonize the prophets the uk have got the prophets in the in the, in the crosshairs and you know you know certain brothers might be shaken up man oh shit like yeah you know, because, like, preaching and prophesying of it is one thing, but then now when, when it's actually at the door and you're like, right, like, shit, like, all right, this thing is, is really about to go down, man. That's why the scriptures say, um, that's why the, the scriptures say, um, fear not thy worm, Jacob, man, okay? Because really, we ain't got nothing to fear, man. Yahweh Shem Shai is going to be the one that's going to fight for us, all right? And, and, and that's that. You see There's no way around it man So this is 1 Thessalonians 4 And uh, And 13 But I would have But I would not have you to be ignorant brethren And you know what If, if time permits I might even just bring this out in the NLT Let's see where the spirit goes 1 Thessalonians, uh, Thessalonians 4 and 13 But I would not have you to be ignorant brethren Concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have uh, no hope. All right, because the uh, majority of our people are hopeless, man. Which is why they're just gonna fall into the hands of the devil, fall into his trap, because they, um, they don't see no other way. You know, we just have to succumb to Esau, Edom, because because you know there's no way out. Well, there is. All right, and that's Yahweh Shai, he's the deliverer, he is salvation, and that's who the elect are putting their stock in, man. You know, putting their trust in Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. All right, so it says, um, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai. Will the Most High bring with him? So those who who, who are those uh, which sleep in Yahweh Shai, that that is um, you know the elect that die, man. You know you're gonna have martyrs. You're gonna have certain of the elect who uh, um, are gonna be beheaded. You know, so those are the ones that um, that um, sleep in Yahweh Shai. You know, they're gonna be raised up. At the uh, you know coming of Yahweh Shai, you know they're going to be raised up first, and then those who you know don't die, 
the elect that don't die for the truth, they're, they're going to meet with them in the air. So you're going to meet with them in the chariots, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm just reading on. So, like, as I said, man, you know, I, just, you know, I started this new gig. And, uh, yeah, man, just finding where to park and whatnot. I'm not gonna lie, bruv, I got a ticket yesterday still. <laughs> but you know what, man, scriptures say what? That like, what we're, uh, you know, made subject to payment. You know, so. That's just what it is, man. You know, can't really. You know, you, just, you gotta be like a duck, man. You just gotta roll the water off your back. You know, can't really get too emotional, man. Just it is what it is. You just crack on, man. So yeah, man. Someone told me that this spot here should be alright. I said, Lord willing, man. Lord willing, I should be alright here, man. Otherwise. To make certain adjustments all right but anyways man so i'm here now see he's telling me this was a 23 minute journey man when i was in my old job i was averaging 45 minutes 50 minutes an hour sometimes over an hour but then like obviously i'd be doing the video at the same time so i was able to kind of just touch on things a bit longer but anyways man like man's going of the lord so you know so sticking to this to the point man first thessalonians 4 and uh let me read 14 again for if we believe that yahweh shai <coughs> excuse me for if we believe that yahweh shai died and rose again even so them also which sleep in yahweh shai will the most high bring with him all right so you know, don't think because you're a martyr or you die for the namesake that you're just forgotten about or you don't hold no uh, significance because that's just far from the truth. All right. It says in um, verse 16. No, verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So just because you are alive in this truth and you may not die by way of the guillotine or at the hand of Esau, it right, doesn't mean that, you know, doesn't mean you won't be saved, man. All right. The elect will be saved, even those of us that may have to die for this truth. We're going to be alright man. Okay it says in. Um, 16. For the Lord himself. Yahweh Shai. Shall descend from heaven. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel. And with, tr and with the trump of the most high. And the dead in Hamashiach. Shall rise first. Alright the dead in Yahweh Shai. Are going to rise first man. Those brothers, and who knows, maybe even those few sisters who die for uh, the namesake, they're going to be raised up first. Okay? And, and, and you know, Archim are, are getting ready to inherit what? Um, an incorruptible crown. You know? Archim are getting ready to inherit an incorruptible crown. You know, in this world, you have a corruptible crown. You got our people, they sell out, man. Engage in all manner of wickedness and 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 and, and you know, end of the day, man, they might they might have pleasure in, in unrighteousness for a little while. Alright, but I mean eventually 
you know, they always regret it, man. They're like, oh, you know, they realise that they erred not knowing the scriptures. You know? So let's read 16 again. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Okay? Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we be, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. All right, so whether you die in this truth, whether you remain alive in this truth, all right, you're, you know, if you're of the elect, you're going to make it, man. All right, there's, uh, there's no way about it. You're going to make it, man. As long as you endure until the end. He who endures until the end, the same shall be saved. All right, so where, you know, um, uh, uh, what does it say in um, Isaiah 45 and 17? It says how Israel shall be saved with what? An everlasting salvation. All right. An everlasting salvation, man. So where, well, you know, uh, <laughs> what's that Kendrick Lamar song? We going to be all right. You know, we're going to be all right, man. That's why, you know, it, it ends off in this chapter. It says in verse 18, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. You know, comfort one another with these words, man. Because guess what? Shit's getting real out here. You know, they're actively making steps to demonize the prophets. They're putting all kind of bills and legislations in place for them to be able to, you know, do their thing against us. And we have to still stand bold as a lion, man. We still have to uh, go out and prophesy until the Most High pretty much says we're done. You know? Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. We have to know that as long as we have Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, you know, uh, we're going to be all right, you know? And we ain't really got nothing to worry about, man. Okay? So yeah, man, I just wanted to touch on that real brief in this, uh, you know, this quick in transit lesson. You know, I'm at, I'm at the, you know, from where I'm parked, I've got a little bit of a walk to do to get to the job, man. But yeah, man, if the spirit jumps on me later, if the Lord willing it does, then uh, I'm going to do a video later on, man. But um, yeah, I pray, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. Until the next time I say Shalom.